How are you doing, Flames of Anza? I like your question. Is port forwarding different than opening a port? I forwarded advice to 44158, but port checker says it's still closed. Do I have to open the port? If so, how does one do this on a Verizon router? I can't seem to find a video detailing the difference between the two. Thanks. Now, to answer your question pretty quickly, no, there's no difference between port forwarding and opening a port. What port forwarding is, it allows you to specify a static NAT rule. So what does that mean? I'm so glad you asked. So what NAT is, oh, it stands for Network Address Translation, and it allows you to have one public address for your household, while you have like maybe up to 254 private addresses, excluding the network identifier and the broadcast address. How NAT works is it uses your public IP address, and then every sort of service on your computer uses a port in that public address. And when you specify a connection with, say, a website of some sort, it takes your IP address and it assigns you a port, and it says, hey, all communication between your computer and this website uses this port. So your router looks at the, the packets coming in and it says, hey, the traffic associated with the port that I'm getting, I want to forward it to this application. It goes to the computer and then the computer looks at the port as well and it gives it to the application. But what you want to know is why is it that saying the port's closed? It could be a few things. The port forward, you have to have a couple of things working okay. You have to have the service on the computer running on the port. You have to have the computer specified in the router with the port to, to basically say to your router, all traffic coming to this specific port, direct it to this computer. And you also want to make sure there's nothing blocking the traffic. So a lot of cases, people would run into these issues where, you know, firewall, probably the biggest issue with port forwarding. So how, how you enable the firewall rule, you just go to the, the Windows button and you search for firewall. This is just how to do it. Simple Windows. First thing that pops up, I go to advanced settings. If you check out inbound rules, you go new rule, add a port, specify the port 44158. And whether it's running on TCP or UDP, most of the time it's running on TCP. Um, you can always research the service you're trying to run to see if it uses TCP or UDP, or you can just add another rule for UDP. You want to allow the connection, give it a name, go to outbound rules, add a new connection, port, TCP, the specific port is 44158. Allow the connection, next, next, give it a name, and now your port's enabled through firewall. Now to verify the service is actually running on the port, what you can do is open up command prompt and type in the command netstat. Now it'll take a while to run. It looks at all the connection, the current connections in your computer and tells you what ports they're using. Since I'm on the internet, you can see all the established connections I have with all the servers. So the ports my computer is using, there's a lot of random ones and it's just using say 49610 to access this web server. If I was hosting something on this port here, you want to tell the router to use this port specifically as a static port. You don't want this to change and then you want to bind it to an address. And you're running a web server, it might say like the number 80 and then Apache or something like that for a web server. These port checker tools, what they do is it basically runs a sort of scan on your IP address to have a look at any active ports and a port will only become active if there's a service running on it and there's nothing blocking the, the flow of traffic between those. And to sum everything up, make sure you have your service running on your port in your local computer. Make sure you have that port forwarded in your router to the correct IP address of your computer and make sure there's nothing blocking the flow of connection. And in the case where you still can't get it working and you're sure that you did everything right, you can always call your ISP. Some ISPs block certain ports from being open. Even if it says it's open and you're allowed to open it on your router, they don't allow it for security reasons or something. So you can always call the ISP to see what's going on. I hope this helps you.